A special shout out to all sponsors of the Moneyball channel, Bella Pizza, Buffalogo, Big D Tire, Impulse, Physical Therapy, Shaman Smoke Shop, Next Level Nutrition, Elmo's Eatery and Bar. Marambo, top of the key, dumps it inside, stolen away by Fulcher. You got a two on one here, Bolden, and that's a two handed slam. The one thing the Bulls couldn't have happen as you watch AJ Bolden glide in. Hey, everybody, we have a special weather edition today of the Moneyball Channel. Uh, I'd like to welcome to the show, we have AJ Bolden. He is a sophomore shooting guard, University Buffalo Bulls. How you doing? Good, man. How about you? I'm doing great other than this weather. Uh, I was telling AJ a little bit before we started here that tornado warnings are all over the place. If you hear the birds chirping in the background, that's because the studio is down and I'm in my backyard. It, it almost looks fake, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks really good back there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to thank my landscaper, man, because it, it almost looks fake. It's got a nice vibe. First things first, man. How'd you end up in Buffalo? So, actually, um, I was down at IMG for two years. The end of my post-grad year, one of my coaches knew uh, Coach G. And, like, as soon as he got the job, he was like, hey, I got this kid um, from South Florida. You know, they got connected. And then, you know, Coach called me, and I was I was down with it right away. Okay, good, uh, good. Well, Wilson, we're glad to have you. I can tell you that much. Happy to be here. First season, injuries. I mean, they happen. They're part of the game. What happened? I had a high ankle sprain. I think it was the day before we were playing Bowling Green. We just had practice. You know, I just came down on it wrong. Yeah. And there was no point in rushing back since we had, uh, you know, less than 10 games left. So I just decided to, uh, the best decision was just to let it heal. Over the course. Probably, probably smart, right? I've watched a lot of video clips of you, you know, in doing a little bit of research. And I'll tell you what, you got a real smooth game, man. That's the best way I could really, best way I would define it or describe it is smooth. You kind of make it look easy. It's glide smooth, right? Like everybody, some people have a jumper. Some people have just raw power. You know, you have a very glide type to you. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but it's poetry. It's fun to watch. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's beautiful basketball. Where did you pick everything up? I know you played IMG, you're from Florida, and I think a lot of people's obvious, you know, question would be, why is he not playing football? Your dad being, you know, Anquan Bolden. You're sick of hearing that. At this point, it's like, hey man, let's let's quiet, let's quiet all that noise and watch what I can do on the court. So tell me how that transition kind of happened with football to basketball and where you kind of got your game style from. Well, I did play football when I was younger and I lived and died by football. I had like no thoughts about basketball. Okay. And so I kind of, I started pretty late uh, basketball wise. I think I started around seventh or eighth grade. I think that's kind of late for basketball, but yeah, for sure. For sure. For basketball. I just, you know, I fell in love with it and it gave me a sense of identity. So, you know, me playing football, I was always being compared to my dad, you know, no matter how young I was. Yep. So when I was on the basketball court, you know, I felt like I could be my own person and not be compared to my dad. I think that's a great answer man and, and and to be honest i think for some people they might not truly understand you know what it's like being the son of an ass and someone of that caliber um your dad obviously and the show isn't about your dad but your dad obviously you know seven pro bowl super bowl win all that other stuff and and a lot of accolades in my opinion a hall of fame wide receiver i still remember one hit the guy took in the end zone early in his career where i didn't think he'd ever get up he was two, one guy on each side, uh, might've been a Bills game. I don't remember, but, and, you know, living in the shadows of that, right. Especially with the same name, like you just said it, you know, you could have your own identity by playing basketball, but I'm assuming you were pretty good wide receiver. Did you play wide? Yeah. I played wide receiver and safety. I mean, probably had some decent hands. I mean, I, I, yeah, I've, I've talked hands. to a lot of athletes whose parents played, man. And I'll tell you, it's that natural ability that comes and, that had to be tough for you, though, to switch over to basketball and just because I'm sure you enjoyed football as well. But you just said, is that the main reason was the identity thing? I mean, no, I also love the game, too. A lot, yeah. a lot more than football. But yeah, pretty much that as well. OK, so you do enjoy the sport more than you more than football playing it, right? Yes. All right. Well, that makes sense, man. I also read um, and, and this is the only time that I've seen you mention Buffalo, right? Other than this is prior to playing, I think that you use the Buffalo Bills with Madden. Yes. OK. Did this have any bearing on your decision at all? Maybe a little bit. Love it, man. Love it. So Lamar's still your guy, though. You're still Baltimore fan. Yeah, definitely. Ravens, uh, Ravens fan day one for sure. I think now that you're in Buffalo uh, with Josh being here, you know, I see these 
it's too it's too close the one to the other. You're gonna become a Bills fan, man. It's just gonna yeah, happen. Actually, uh, one of my cousins plays for the Bills. He just got drafted. Okay, who is it? A Kanai Lovely. Okay. Yeah. He just got drafted this year. Yes, sir. See, I mean, everything's kind of telling you to become a Bills fan. You see how that right. goes? I had the uh, the opportunity recently to interview Josh's dad and his coach from high school. And what I like about that, you know, going back and, and talking to these guys with their high school coaches is kind of getting an idea of who the cat was before, you know, they made it. In your case, I wouldn't have to go back too far because, I mean, you're, you're a young man. You're a sophomore right. in, in, in college still, you know. But a lot of... A lot of things, in my opinion, you know, with, with sports is keeping that humble demeanor and kind of keeping that humility. And I've noticed you seem to be very, very grounded, very down to earth, just a real chill vibe. I'm sure when you get on the court, it's a little different story. You don't want to mess with you. But I mean, the demeanor's there, man. You're very polite. Josh's coaches, you know, it was the same thing. It's kind of like what you see now is the way it was. And And I think with athletes, a lot of the time you do see a significant change, you know. What do you... I guess what do you, what do you praise or, or or who do you give credit to as far as you know your demeanor and your academics and just your your mannerisms and I guess you know the way that you are and the way that you present yourself as a young man. Definitely say my dad. Growing up, always being in the facility with him, just seeing how he just uh, he was treating other people, and just you know just him in a daily life and just knowing like how big he was, but he still had humility. You know what I'm saying and a sense of himself. So I would definitely say to him for sure. What are the expectations going in with UB this year? I know that, you know, Coach Hargrove, he, he's got some ideas for this camp. He doesn't right. want mediocrity. He doesn't, he wants to quiet all the naysayers. He wants to go out there and really show what this team is capable of. And we spoke a little bit about NIL and transfer portals and, and without getting into all that, without getting into all that, you have a team, right? You have your family on the court. What do you think of these guys going into this season? And what do you think UB basketball can be? I mean, we, I think we have so much potential, especially because we're so young as a unit. And I feel like, you know, the more we play together and the more we stay together, I feel like the sky's the limit for us. I mean, just by practicing, you know, these past couple of weeks in the summer, I've seen that we have a hard playing team. You know, everyone listens, everyone has a great attitude and everyone like wants to play with each other genuinely. So I think that's going to be a big difference. It's almost, for a lack of a better term, trimming the fat. I mean, you kind of, you know, you, you, you kind of, if, if there's some guys that don't want to be or they feel maybe they're they're oh, we're too good for it or whatever the whatever the attitude is attitude as you know man is so much in sports I mean right. from any level from t ball to to professional anything and if somebody doesn't want to be there or they're there for the the wrong reasons you don't want them you know I th I think that'd be fair to say and did you how many new faces have come in how many new players right. <laughs> quite a few oh, uh, yeah we only have four returners so okay and Mr. you're you, be, you yeah. being one of them. Yes. Okay. So essentially a, a new team. So, you know, you're almost captain or leader of a team already. Right. I mean, and that's kind of wild, you know, just being in, in year number two and, and not having played them all. But I think that you'll take that role on. I think, is it intimidating, you know, feeling that, hey, there's all these new guys coming back and there's high expectations for us. I mean, are you intimidated or excited? More excited, you know, I'm I'm really excited to take on this challenge of, uh, you know, being seen as a returner and a leader, you know, I'm willing to take it and, you know, just see where it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I personally, like, I don't see, like, listen, going uh, 23 and six this year, right? I mean, might not be realistic, but I think last year was rough, right? Let's be honest. Last year was a rough season. So getting yourselves and playing up, Leaders are absolutely what, what you know, help a team getting even to a 500 and then beyond, right? And we want to get people back. We want the excitement back with UB basketball. The C.J. Massenberg days, the uh, uh, Javon McCray days, right? Now we want the, the A.J. Bolden days, man. And I, and I truly mean that, you know, and, and I want to see every game I can. I want to see all the potential I can. I'm, I'm excited for it. It's the first year I've been excited, you know, for UB basketball in, in quite a few years. And I hope that there is a lot of fans feeling the same. How much have you been training this year? It's like, tell me, give me a breakdown. How does it work with, I know there's summer and then, you know, obviously the season starts. Are you guys, right. are you guys like in full go right now or how does it work? Not full practice mode. Cause you know, the hours we're practicing right now, three times a week. And then, you know, Tuesdays and Tuesdays we do yoga. Okay. And then we shoot. And then Fridays, you know, we mix it up a little bit, do some boxing and then we okay. shoot after. So we okay. pretty much get it in all five days. Okay. Now, have you done the yoga and the boxing and stuff in the past with different academies, or is this the first time you've done that? 
last year we did yoga but this is our first year boxing now how do you like it how is it how are you taking to it and do you feel like it's kind of teaching you different elements of things is it is that more the mental yeah for yoga definitely because it's hot yoga so definitely okay, yeah. more than that so <laughs> yeah dude, that's not easy man sitting in there right. that's <laughs> it's like 100 degrees right yeah yeah so how long is a practice like take me through a practice I'd say a practice is a little bit under two hours. I'm just basically going over our offense and most importantly right now, working on defense and make sure everyone's connected. So by the time we get back in in the fall, you know, we won't have to go over any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least focus more on the offense. Right. And then right. Um, I think he had mentioned there's some European players that have come over. Yeah, we have, I think, three or four. OK. Now, how are those guys to work with? It's it's definitely a different style of basketball, right? It definitely is. But they're adjusting really quick. Um one of them just got over like last week. Okay. But they're all adjusting pretty quick. You know, we're helping them learn, you know, as they go. Yeah. Some bumps and bruises, but we're doing pretty good so far. You taking them out, showing them Buffalo a little bit or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What are some spots, man? We're like, what, what do you do for fun? Like what, you know, other than the video games and we all love those. Right. But what do you, what do you do for fun? Where do you go out or what do you do? Um, I like to fish personally. Okay. And then, you know, I'm a big food guy. So definitely all around Buffalo. What are your favorite wings in Buffalo? Barbells, no question. Really? Yeah, man. And you're so yeah. you're so close to Elmo's. Elmo's Elmo's is okay. But Elmo's. Barbells, I feel like Barbells is number one, like unanimously. So Elmo's sponsors my show, number one. And number two, man, just to me, no holds barred. Maybe you didn't order them right, man, because if you get these double dipped Cajun hot, you're not gonna touch another wing ever. Buffalo gets a knock. I think a lot of people don't really know much about it. They don't even know where it is. It's kind of like Buffalo. Oh, you know, I've been to New York, you know, and they're talking about Manhattan or something, you know, like everybody thinks that, you know, down in Florida, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I've been to New York City. It's like it's a different planet. Like we're literally farther from New York City. We could get to Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Toronto, any of those cities far before New York City, you know, and it's like people don't really understand the culture. What are you, what do you think of it? You know, since you've been up here, it's very blue collar. It's, it's pretty chill. Like, have you been enjoying it? I, have, I love it. It's I feel like it represents me a lot, like very hardworking, very humble. People are very nice. You know, everywhere I go, they, they show love. So I love the city so far. That's good. That's good. You know, and I, and I'm glad to hear that. It's, it's good to hear. Like we really do, man. We, we take a lot, we take a beating. It started, I almost feel like it started uh, in the Bethlehem steel, you know, steel town type days. And then when the bills started losing their super bowls, we just started taking a lumping and now it's like, all right, listen, we got a great football team, right? We're, we're up a rising basketball team. We got the, the, the bandits, they're winning lacrosse leagues. You know what I'm saying? Like back off a little bit, guys, you know, we're, we're doing some things athletically and they've done a lot by the waterfront. You know, if you get to get down there and walk around, they've really done a lot with that. So I, I think Buffalo, you know, in general is on the rise. They did some type of survey and they, I don't know where they come up with this info, but they said in like 10 years, Buffalo will be the most desired place to live in the country. I can see that definitely. You know, between like taxes and weather and climate change, you know, mm-hmm. it was it was they had said it would be. And, and a lot of people are trying to get out of here all the time. You know, they're like, oh, man, I can't wait to get out of here. Like New York State's tough. But I have family down in Florida and obviously Florida is extremely hot. And then it's there's some different cats in Florida. So it's a little where were you? Where are you from down there? I'm from Delray Beach. So where's that? Is that on the so, east? Or... It's on it's on the east coast. So it's about an hour north of Miami. Our north. Okay. So just yeah. north of Fort Lauderdale and, and Miami. Yeah. Palm Beach County. And then was IMG on the, on the Gulf coast. The yeah, IMG was in a uh, Bradington. So you're on the Gulf. Coast. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's right. Where my folks are from. So when I go to spring training and stuff, so you were over there. So you basically alligator alley, right? Shot right over yeah, to the right. other side. Straight shot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And IMG is kind of well-known basketball, right? Is it, is it a prep school? Right. Yes. Okay. And then, you know, overall, how was your experience there? I mean, is that where you, like you were mentioning earlier, where you kind of learned and, and, you know, got all the real life skill set type thing. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I met a lot of great people, a lot of great coaches. Actually, one of my teammates um, right now just transferred. We went to IMG together. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that little pipeline there. Yeah, that's but, yeah. that's great, actually. That's got to make you feel comfortable to have him there. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You need that family type. You know, any sports that are successful, again, at, at any you know, from, from T-ball up, man, you need to have that family dynamic. Is that fair to say? Do you agree? Yes, definitely. Got to have each other's backs. Got to be willing to do, you know, anything for them and, and stick up for them. But I'm excited. You know, I, I really am. I'm excited to see what, what the, like I said, what this season can bring. I thank you very much for taking some time with us. Thank you for having uh, me. 
Anything you want to add? I'm excited for some Bills games this season. I'm definitely yeah. going to come out to some of those. Yeah. Have you been Have you been to the stadium and checked them out? I went last year when they played the Dolphins earlier in the season. Okay. So yeah. And yeah, man. Gonna... It's it, it's it's crazy. I drove by the new stadium that they're building. I actually yes. drive by the, drive by it pretty much every day on my way. You know, it's coming along fast. I got a I got an insider. The guy's not supposed to be sending me videos of it, right? It's like and he's sending them, and it's like it's coming along fast. Like they have the whole perimeter of it, and they're already now starting to do the the concrete foundation for the, the stands to go up. And I don't know if you're anything like me, man. You drive by these stadiums sometimes, and you're like, how do they do that, right? Right. Like I mean. <laughs> I, I can't, it's like drawing or art or architecture or anything like that. I mean, I I couldn't imagine even how to put a house up or do any of that, but it's like, there it is, right? And these guys, cranes everywhere, boom, boom, boom. And the next thing you know, you got a multi-billion dollar stadium, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, thanks, Pagula. You know, that's all I can say for that. Man. <laughs> um, but no, man, you're definitely cool. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming on, spending some time with me. And uh, I wish you all the best, man. We'll be in touch for sure. So I appreciate it. All right, AJ, take care, man. All right, you too.